Hello everyone, in this tutorial video, I will show to you how to install the WAMP server. Basically, this WAMP server software is the application that you need to install in your computer if you wish to develop web applications using PHP programming language, the Apache, and MySQL as your database. But before that, please support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so we want to install WAMP server. We have to visit this website, wampserver.com slash en slash so when you visit this site here, it will show you this website wherein you can download the WAMP server software. And if you go down a little bit, as you can see here, you will have two versions of this. You have 64-bit and the 32-bit. And so you have to check your computer if it is using 32-bit operating system, you just have to click this link here to download this 32-bit version and if it is 64-bit your operating system uses 64-bit operating system then you have to download this version by the way to check which version of your OS is using is it 64-bit or 32-bit all you need to do is to right click your start button and go to your system and you will see this windows right here all right so as you can see here just check this area here so for me for my computer i am using 64-bit operating system and so i will download now the 64-bit version of this WAP server so if you see here 32-bit you just have to click or download the 32-bit version so I'm just going to close this and let's get over here I'm just going to click this 64 bit and you have to fill up this but you don't need to fill up this you can just go directly and download the application or the installer so let's click and you will be redirected to the SourceForge website wherein in this website you can download now the version of WAP server or the WAP server software and so let's click right over here so this version is 3.3.0 so as you can see it is now downloading right here so it will take a little while to download as I have a slow internet connection but if you have a fast internet connection then I think this will take about a few minutes to download it's quite big so it will take a while to download it and as you can see it is 644 MB of file size so it will take a while to download it so you just have to wait and until you finish downloading it and so the download is complete it took about 35 or 30 minutes to 45 minutes to download it will depend on the speed of your internet and so uh, if it is slow it will take more than that 45 minutes maybe one hour or something like that so you just have to wait for it until it is complete and so I'm using a Chrome here so I just press Ctrl J and it showed me this one it will show to me all the downloads that I have and so when you press Ctrl J again Ctrl J it will show you this one here and so if I want to run it now all I need to do is to click here or if I want to show it in the folder where it was downloaded so I can just click this link here so I'm just going to click it and so it here it is so it is about 660 right Six, 
almost 660 megabytes of size file size okay so again you can just find where you downloaded it and double click that application so i'm just going to double click this so if you don't see here in my screen right now you just have to click the yes bu uh, button and this link will come out so i'm just going to click ok we have to accept we have to read all these things here this is the this is the license agreement so you just have to accept and click next now these are the softwares that we need for proceeding to the installation of one server so you have to make sure that these softwares are installed first before you can proceed installing the WAMP server and so if you go down okay these are the softwares that I'm referring to this one here VC9 VC10 these are the applications that you need first so if you go down now so these are the visual C++ packages so we will start from the 9, 10, 11, 13, 15, and 16. And so since we need to install all these packages, redistributable packages, all this here, so we can just download all of those by clicking uh, this one here. You just have to go down from this windows and you just have to click this and it will give you this page here behind this windows here so this one here so it will show you this page all right and so what i did is you just have to go down and just click all the redistributable packages here okay since i am using 64 bit operating system so it is imperative to install both 32 and 64 bit of each package so that's why I'm going to download this uh, softwares here or these packages here by clicking this link here and so it is now downloading let's see there you go so it's about 75% right now so it's still downloading the total is about 99.6 megabytes so almost 100 megabytes of space or file size also I downloaded another software where in it will test if all the applications or if all these packages are already installed in your computer and so you just have to click this tool here this one here all right so download this tool to check if all the packages are installed completely so when you click this one here it will allow you to download this software okay check bc redist file so once you click this uh, this tool here so this will be the file that you need to test whether all the applications or the packages are complete before you can continue installing WAMP server so I already have it here and so I'm just waiting for the application the one that uh, the complete package for redistributable packages so let's see so I think it is already downloaded let us see here so I'm using an opera this time so I can just click here but I don't want to do that here I will just go to the folder where it was downloaded and I think I can see from here this one here okay so I think I will need to put all this one better to put all this one in another folder so I'll just put those here inside this PHP installer folder and so 
it will be better if you will put it in another folder so well in this case I don't have any files only this folder here I mean only this compressed file here and so the reason behind that so that you can see all the files uh, coming or that came from this compressed file so that it will not jumble with other files so only this file that I have so I think I, I can uncompress from here and so let us uncompress extract all and extract so these are all the files now let us see so all of this you have to install one by one and so let us see I'm going to install first the 64 bit so I will start from this file so let us see here so let's see click install yes so it needs restart but I will not restart first so I'm just going to click close okay so I have installed everything now I initially I installed this too but it requires uh, reboot and so I did not reboot and so I installed uh, the next one this one and the rest from here up to here I install one by one now let's see again if it is now possible to install the WAMP server although again we need to restart this but I need to check first let us see again I'm going to run the checklist checker so package checker if it is already or if those are already installed so again this one is the one that we need again where did we get this we got this one from here during the time that we install our WAMP server this one this this window appeared during installation process and so I just click this link here to download this file this file again will check the uh, package if already installed let us see yes so just click ok yes check okay so as we can see now all packages needed to WAMP server are installed correctly and so that's how it is so I think we need to install now or uh, it needs actually rebooting so let us see and I will reboot now so I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to install again WAMP server okay so it needs rebooting so I'm just going to cancel and I'm going to reboot first and so let's continue installing this I already restarted my computer or reboot my computer and so let's continue installing WAMP server so I'm just going to click or double click this WAMP server installer okay so again I just finished installing all the redistributable packages that uh, WAP server needs so in here I just have to click OK I just have to accept click next okay so all of this should be installed and we did that and so again these are the links that you need to, to get all the redistributable packages you just have to click this one here again you can just review this video you can you can just uh, go back and see how I click the link to get all the redistributable packages that one server needs so install all those software so just click next here next again and then we can select both of these two versions of MySQL so MySQL and the MariaDB it's also MySQL so I'm just going to click next to make sure that all of these are installed or checked and let's click next install finally to install 
WAMP server version 3.3.0 for 64-bit operating system. Alright, so he, in here, you are asked if you will use the Edge as browser by WAMP server. Do you want to choose another browser installed on your system? So I'm just going to click yes so that I'm just going to use the Edge as my default browser. Okay, so you can just click yes. That's it just click open because the edge is here already this is the application for the edge the browser called edge so just click open and then that's it notepad is the default text editor so you just can click yes notepad after M will be notepad there you go so we just click open and that's it so we just click next so I think it's done now so it's finished so let us see if it is going to run Okay, let us run it. Where is it? Just go into minimize this. Alright, so it is there. So I have here, as you can see here, I have this icon here, WAMP server. So I'm just going to double click it and click yes. Alright. So I think in, in, in my screen here, you cannot see now the WAMP server. It is already running. It is already in the system tray, all right? Near the, the date and the time on the right corner of your screen. And so you should see there the WAMP server, which is somewhere here. Okay, when I click this up arrow here, just right before the date and time again. So it's there so it's green so it means it is already working if it is not green then the WAMP server is not successfully installed or there's something wrong during installation process but since we followed everything so it's now green so green means everything is working so let us see if it is really working I'm just going to click localhost here and so this is the WAMP server so it is working okay and so I'm going to try the PHP my admin here. Let us see. PHP my admin and right there it is working. So if I would like to use my SQL, so I just have to select this or if I use if I want to use MariaDB version, so it's also possible I just have to select. So the automatic username here for PHP my admin is root and there will be no password. Let us see if it is going inside. I'm going to like it. So it's working perfectly. And so that is how we install the WAMP server for your computer. I hope this helped you how to install the WAMP server on your computer or on your laptop. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one.